My name is Dr. Robert Burke, and I'm here today to talk to you about what we know about stem cell therapy currently and what we hope to know in the future. Stem cells are immature cells that are made by the body that really haven't decided what they want to be because they haven't grown up yet. The advantage of stem cells is that when they are placed in an environment, they can actually turn into various cell types depending on the location. If I put a stem cell in an area of bone, it can turn into a bone cell producing new bone. If I put a stem cell in an area of tendon, it can turn into a tendon cell producing new tendon. So the purpose of stem cells are several fold. They definitely can reduce inflammation, they can definitely reduce pain, but they can also help with regeneration of lost material, such as in an arthritic joint, and they can also help in repairing tissue, such as in a torn tendon or partially torn tendon. There are two main sources of stem cells, biologenic, which are stem cells from donors, and autogenic, which are stem cells from him or herself. The autogenic stem cells come from two main sources, bone marrow, as well as adipose or fatty tissue. The problem with procuring those is that, that requires a surgical procedure, either a bone marrow aspiration or biopsy, or basically a mini liposuction where fat cells are taken and then turned into a collection of stem cells. The other form of stem cell treatment involves allogenic tissue, that is tissue from a donor that usually is derived either from the umbilical cord or the amniotic membrane of women that give their permission that during live birth that these materials can be then used to produce various forms of stem cell preparation. In these tissue types, there is absolutely no fetal tissue involved with this. There is no ability to have any type of reaction as far as rejection of these tissues. The purpose of stem cell therapy in orthopedic uh, procedures is to help either repair or regenerate or aid in the recovery of orthopedic conditions such as arthritis or tendonitis or in post-surgical recovery. They are extremely easy to use and they have a very, very high track record of safety. The other application that has been widely shown is it can markedly help to reduce inflammation either after injury or after surgery. As far as the future of stem cell therapy, there are many avenues that are vastly unexplored that many uh, researchers are now working on to look in further applications of treatment for this for multiple areas uh, throughout the body, whether it be neurological issues or cardiovascular issues or orthopedic issues. The ideal scenario would be to perhaps to one day prevent someone from having a metal and plastic implant and to actually help them to prevent the knee or hip or shoulder from reaching that arthritic point where the surgical intervention may be required. It truly is one of the only treatments that I have to offer that is truly a do no harm procedure. Given that fact though, there are specific indications for stem cell therapy. The main problem that we see in the vast public arena of stem cell therapy are utilization of stem cell treatment for various conditions that have not really been looked into as far as the efficacy of them. Stem cell therapy for me is a tool. I am an orthopedic surgeon. Just as I would do a knee replacement or a knee arthroscopy or repair a broken bone, each of those has an indication that has an appropriate treatment. For myself and my practice, stem cell therapy has a specific indication for a specific problem in a specific patient. And that's what I feel differs from, quote, stem cell centers that feel that stem cells can be used for anyone, for any problem, without regard to whether or not they're actually working or not. I urge you that if you have any further questions to please give us a call and contact us and we'll be more than happy to provide information uh, that you may like for questions that you may have regarding this treatment.